Many businesses are taking a hard hit during the coronavirus pandemic, and the film industry is no exception. WWAY's Matt Bennett sat in on a meeting with industry leaders from around the state and from our area, and he joins us now with more. Matt, how serious a blow is this to the state film business? Donna, the short answer is it's too early to tell. Tonight, they covered a variety of issues from state film grants to unemployed crew members to what the industry will look like when productions are able to begin filming again. We are in a much different world than we were three months ago. The North Carolina film industry coming off a very strong year and expecting to continue that trend. 2019, we did about $167 million worth of work in the state. It was the largest uh, years worth of work that we had done in uh, the past five years. About $133 million of that just in the Wilmington area. Back in October at Screen Gem Studios, Governor Roy Cooper announced an advisory council on film, television, and digital streaming. Susie Hamilton chairs that council. All I can say is that we are doing the best we can to maintain the film grant program funding. Wilmington Film Commissioner Johnny Griffin says 2020 started off with two new pilots filming in the area. I was very hopeful and optimistic that by May, we probably would have had three to five projects just in the Wilmington area. Griffin says unlike after a hurricane, which is concentrated to one area, North Carolina will be able to bounce back once productions are allowed to resume. It could be that North Carolina is in a good position because maybe we're not hit as bad by this virus as other parts of the country. Uh, and so it could be that it's, it's easier to go back to work here than it is in other places. Griffin says some projects scheduled for late spring are still planning to continue unless government orders are extended. Um, I think some of these companies are being a bit optimistic again, just kind of putting a pin on the calendar, but still not knowing under what parameters they'll be working at that point in time. Those who had been working on out-of-state productions are now home and out of work trying to navigate unemployment. Griffin says that could actually benefit North Carolina's film industry. You don't know what's going to happen to the project that they were on. Is that project going to start back up? Is it not? And if they're here, and it could be the situation where we've actually got more crew available now. Leaders in the film industry say the time delays and financial impacts of this pandemic could lead production companies and networks to reconsider the process of greenlighting new projects.